Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make a redstone door that will stay open and stay open a lot longer. So once again, I am sorry for um, not uploading in a while. I'm trying to figure out how to get this uh, computer working. And I'm actually not even screen recording this right now. So I'm sorry if the uh, quality is bad. I'm doing my best to get videos out there because I know that you guys, if you clicked on this video, you love my videos and you love my content. So thank you for watching this, even though the quality is bad. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. All right, so let's get into it. First off, you're gonna need a block of some sort. I'm gonna be using stone. Um, not the biggest deal. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm in 1.8, so I don't have much options to pick a different button. So to hide it, I'm using stone. So I'm gonna be using a stone button as well. You're gonna need a button. A piston of some sort. If you're trying to make a secret base, you're gonna want a sticky piston. Um, looks like this, if you didn't, didn't know. Anyways, uh, you're also gonna need some redstone dust, a redstone torch, and of course, a redstone repeater. All right, so let's start this. Um, first off, you're going to need, so you're gonna place a stone block here. Doesn't matter how high, I'm gonna be doing too high because I like it personally. You're gonna place a button. Um, actually, give me one sec. All right, I'm placing a granite block here, so that way it's easier, so that way you guys can see this stone button. So first, so you're gonna have it too high or one high, doesn't matter. I'm gonna be showing you the too high version because it's my personal favorite. So you're gonna go behind here and you're gonna place a stone block, two pieces of redstone, and another stone block. And finally, you're gonna get your redstone torch and place it down there. Should look like, um, should look like this. The button right there, um, the granite block, stone, two pieces of redstone. And then of course you got the, um, the stone torch right here. So once, you're, once you have it like this, you're gonna go one, two, three outwards with the redstone dust, connect it to a, another stone block, and um, then you're gonna grab your redstone torch yet again, place it down there, and it should turn off. If it doesn't turn off, I don't know what you did wrong, but you did something wrong because it should always turn off. So next you're gonna go back to your stone, uh, I'm not, sorry, not stone, sorry, redstone, and you're going to then connect it to this block. So when you, um, when you press this button, this should just become redstone lit up and it should stay that way because if you don't, it doesn't have anything for it to turn off. Even if, even if you were to, um, to press this button, it's not going to turn off. The only way it's going to turn off is if you break it or you do something else. So what you're going to do now, um, also same with the piston. If you've got your piston there, you press it, it, it stay, it, it's stuck like that. So yeah, so you don't wanna do that just yet. What you're gonna do now is uh, you're going to place a block here. You're gonna then connect the redstone, come out a few blocks, doesn't matter exactly how much, and uh, go, go out like that. Then you're gonna take your repeaters and place generally around five. So then it should be like this. You can mess around with the tick speed as much as you want. Not right now, you don't need to do that. And, it's, and then you're gonna place the redstone block outwards and you need to connect it here. If it's not one block outwards, go one more out and go two, two of this out. I think I might have done, yeah, I did six blocks. So it should look like this because you only need about five for it to be slow enough, but you guys can choose exactly how much. It doesn't really matter. So once you um, have it connected, because if it touches this, that whole, it's, it's ruined. Um, so once it's connected to here, and then you place um, your uh, piston there, and you press it, there we go. See, it's gonna stay open a lot longer if I go mess with this tick speed real quick. And then press the button. It's gonna stay like this for a little bit longer than the normal piston. But let's say that you want it to stay open and then close, right? Because right now it's just opening and then closing. So. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I invented this part of it, I think. So it's not gonna work if it's this close. So you're gonna need to move your piston around there. No, just move it around anywhere. We're gonna place it there. Um, so let's say you also wanted it to be two blocks tall. You can do that totally. So then you're just, I'm gonna just do that. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go 
One block behind it, place two stone upwards, um, one redstone torch, and then you're gonna break this block because you don't need it there. You're gonna place these two blocks and then you're going to connect the redstone all the way over here. Now when you press it, it shouldn't, it should, um, just a quick break while I'm stuttering so terribly. Um, only 2.9% of you are subscribed, so consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. So uh, thank you for your time, and I will see you in the video. All right, so now when I press it, it's going to stay open, right? Now it stays open like this, but the problem with this is if you're, try if you're making a secret base and you're trying to hide it, you've got this all hidden up, Oh, yay, it's finally hidden. Look at this. It's so amazing. No. Well, that's, well, I can fix that. I sh it, it still works this way. It's going to work even with a wall. But this one piece of redstone makes it really hard to hide it when, because it's, it's, it stands out. Oh, hey, look at this totally normal wall with that redstone sticking out. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, you're just gonna break this completely just break it doesn't that doesn't matter you could and then you can just Fill it up So then you're gonna take your redstone. You're just gonna connect it to here. This is probably the cheapest way to do it It's simple just connect it, but it only works if it's too high. I think I so I did it don't I, I don't know um I'm not sure um but yeah, so it, now it works completely fine, same way. But let's also say you just wanted uh, to make it two, two pistons wide, right? Uh, you wanted it to be maybe three, four, doesn't, you can just keep doing this process over and over um, where you just do this again. You go two up, you're gonna place a redstone torch, um, then see how these are activated still. This time, only though, this time you, get, you, get, you have to uh, place the redstone up here. So that way, uh, so that way, because then this just acts as the it's, it's way to get up here. So now um, we've got both of them here. When I press this, it's gonna work the same, same way, same tick speed, everything. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's it. Okay, that was just lag there. I thought I just broke my machine. So I'm gonna make it a lot longer and then I will see you after I've done that. I just finished. <laughs>